Watch this video in 720p high resolution full screen for best quality. This is going to be a demonstration of removal of 60 hertz hum with Adobe Edition 3 restoration noise reduction process. I have a file that I did a recording in an interview room that had a problem and I'll let you listen to it real quick. It's about 10 by 15 feet. You can hear that it had a 60 hertz problem. Let's look at the spectrum. I can right click and drag on the right over here and expands the spectrum. Spectrum is, this is time. This is frequency going up and down. And the intensity is the loudness. So we can see that we have issue in 60 and maybe 120 and 240. But uh, the real problem is that. It would be very difficult to transcribe all these files that were recorded in this room and uh, transcription is very expensive. So let's see what we can do to fix the problem. I can right click and zoom out full. I will find an area on the file that has no voices, just the problem. You can see the noise area goes up to minus nine. It's pretty loud. We can go effects, restoration, noise capture. We're capturing that noise and we're going to use that to reduce the noise in the rest of the file through this process. We go effects, restoration, noise reduction process. This is the noise reduction process reset. That's how it normally comes. You can kill everything above 10 kilohertz because there's no voice there. It's set to 80%, 30 dB reduction in the noise. That's pretty good. It's aggressive. Let's listen to it and see what we have when we preview it. Okay, now instead of being at 9, it's down around, oh, 32, 33. That popping is it's looping over playing the uh, clip we captured. Here's the uh, noise. If you, so you can listen to see what you're actually removing. Let's stop this. We will select the entire file. We say OK. It processes it. Now let's look at the uh, let's play it now and see what we get. I made a slight boo boo. I kept all the noise. We don't want to do that. So we will stop it. We hit Control Z to undo it. We go Effects, Restoration, Noise Reduction Process, Remove Noise, and Okay. We do a test. The room has some issues with the audio system. I'm trying to diagnose them and see what the problem is. Always good to have the undo buffer. It slows things down when you're processing hour long files. But if you have a fast enough machine, it only takes about 30 seconds to process hour long file. If you've got a slow machine, uh, it can take 10 15 minutes to process an hour long file. And if you screw it up like I did, it you just wasted that time. Let's go and review it. Look here, right click, drag. You can see that the uh, major part of the noise is gone. We didn't kill it all, but anytime you cut into a file, you're going to affect other properties in it also. So you want to do the least damage possible. Let's look at the waveform again. The waveform actually has some form now. Control Z it there, what it looked like before. Edit, redo. Now it's a little low, it's sitting about most of it, about minus eight. So we can click and drag, and we will document this if this was a real job. Plus seven. This dragging this there is the same thing as going to effects, amplitude, amplify, and dragging these sliders to the left or right. Let's cancel that. Let's look at the spectrum again. We can roll the mouse and see and listen by hitting the space bar. Test. The room has some issues with the audio system. I'm trying to diagnose them and see what the problems are and who can be fixed and see if we can repair some old audio and I'll make a demonstration out of it when I'm all done. 
Okay, a lot better listening, yeah, easy to transcribe. If I process the other files in that way, they can actually get transcribed. Save them a lot of time and effort and money because transcription is quite expensive. Okay, let me file. Close. I'll bring in the file that was recorded after everything was fixed. The room had wiring problems and the equipment was set up improperly. Okay, this is a test of the same interview room. Uh, the problems were the mic placement in the ceiling, ran the wires over a fluorescent light transformer, changed it to a balanced mic, eliminated the uh, pickup of the hum. Down at the computer end, we ran it uh, through an external sound card. The external sound card had a much lower noise floor than the laptop. The laptop had about minus 40 dB with nothing plugged into it. The sound card had a minus 108 dB with nothing plugged into it. Uh, so this is a same interview room. This file will be totally unprocessed and hopefully it'll save them a lot of time, effort. You can see that if you record it properly in the first place, it you don't have to process things and it saves you a lot of time, effort. Here's the spectrum of this one. We can drag, right drag and click. There's still a little bit of noise down there, but it hardly anything and it would be very easy to transcribe compared to the first file. If you have any questions about what was done here or how to fix a problem like this before it happens, you can put comments in the comment section or you can go to siliconforensics.com. This is the company that installs surveillance equipment, interview rooms and such and see what they have to offer. This is not the only way to process this type of audio. There are many different ways, just as in rotating your tires. Photoshop, Adobe Edition have many processes and you can use them in many different ways and directions to get to get similar or the same result. Don't take this as the only or absolute way to process this problem.